Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. I got one question on one of my videos with the Phoenix A320 and one of you asked whether it's possible to train uh, RNP Visual Runway 05 in Madeira. Uh, yes, you can do any kind of approach you want with FSI Panel. The matter is where you want to position your aircraft to start flying the approach. So on this particular approach, we have to position the aircraft northeast of Mike Alpha 565 and from there we can basically do whatever we want. We can fly this approach and get a landing report. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So I will not go in details how to create a pilot waypoint. I have done it for you and you can find the pilot waypoint in the uh, section description down below. So if you want to download the uh, Pilot Waypoint, go ahead and then drag and drop it over FSI panel window to have it on your computer. So I will show you that right now, how you have to do it. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys. Let's jump in the cockpit and see what we have to do. Okay, here we are in the cockpit. First thing we want to do, make sure, as always, your engines are running. That's the case. I have my ARS line. I'm on runway 05 where I want to land. Uh, where now we are on runway 23, doesn't really matter and I'm going to load the aircraft. So let's say we are practicing with 130 passengers, a little bit of cargo and four tons of fuel, something like that. This is completely up to you what you want to put. Then apply and load and instant and off we go. My aircraft is loaded. Okay, fine. So the Airbus is ready to go airborne with FSI panel. We don't have to do anything here, so we'll start FSI panel and I will show you how you can import the pilot waypoint that I have created for you. Okay, so here we are in FSI panel. The first thing you want to do, make sure you have the correct aircraft detected, as always. Phoenix A320. We are in Madeira and we want to fly runway 05. Now you need to import your pilot waypoint. So in order to do that, if you downloaded the file that I referred in the description down below, it will be into a zip file, but then you have this FSP file. Just take it and drag and drop it over FSI panel main window. When you do that, you will get waypoint imported successfully. And that's all you need to do. Now, if you go to the select fix right up there and you select pilot waypoint, you will see here MA565 RNP Visual Runway 05. And if you click on it, everything is done for you. So the aircraft will be on vector profile, as you can see right there. So it's going to be flaps one and the speed will be at S bug. We will be on the heading 219 at an altitude of 2000 feet. And we will be basically five miles, five miles, sorry, northeast of MA565. You just have to click on validate. And from there, we are ready to fly. So I'm going to click move aircraft and we can see what we have to do in the cockpit. All right, here we go. So flaps should be moving to flaps one. You can see it right there. Make sure if you have an hardware that you follow the order here, flaps one. The altitude is set to 2000 feet, the heading to 219, and now I just have to move the thrust lever to climb detent. So let's do that. Here we go. And the aircraft will go in the air. Now FSI panel is taking control, so do not touch anything. Just watch the show and wait for the aircraft to be ready and then we will program uh, some kind of stuff into our MCDU to facilitate this kind of approach. It's a visual approach after the Waypoint MA566. So it's quite uh, easy to fly if you program it. So let me show you. The idea of this video is not to show how to fly this approach perfectly and you have many ways how to fly the Visual Flight Track. The idea is to show you how easily you can basically position the aircraft wherever you want to, uh, to practice your approaches. So here we are approaching the 2000 feet. FSI panel has probably already inserted something in the MCDU. Yeah, he's inserting the weather into the MCDU. And once we get to uh, 2000 feet, we have managed speed. The speed will drop to S-Bug. Once in S-Bug, then I will show you what you have to do with your aircraft. Okay, as you can see now, aircraft ready, all your brake for three seconds to take control. Fine, so now we can work. FSI panel will keep the aircraft at that position. So aircraft moving a little bit ahead and then bring back to the original position. So here you can basically do whatever you want with your MCDU. So let's have a look at what we could do for this approach. The first thing you want to do is check 
your arrival and make sure it's a visual approach. So myself, I will just select runway 05. Insert. All right, now we know that we are going to land on runway 05. Now the next waypoint that we want to fly to is Mike Alpha 565. So let's go Mike Alpha 565. Now we have the Mike Alpha 565. After that waypoint, if you look on the chart, we're going for Mike Alpha 566. So let's do that right there. And this is the one at nine nautical miles. So now if we look up here, we can see 565, then 566. And then we have this prescribed visual flight track where you can see that we are continuing on the 219 for three nautical miles. So we are going to program that. So I have to take Mike Alpha 566 slash course is 219 and I want three nautical miles. And again, we are talking about the Mike Alpha 566 at nine nautical miles from the airport. Perfect. So now we've got what we need here. We have a problem with the Charlie Fox. So because she wants to turn, so no problem. We are going to undo that and do it again. This is because this Charlie Fox is giving us an issue. So what I'll do, I'll do it again for you. So Mike Alpha 566. And then after this Mike Alpha 566, we are going for the uh, Mike Alpha 566 slash 219 slash three miles. Now you can see that we have the uh, pilot defined waypoint number two right there. And then we have the CF by default, which is too far away. We need to start the base turn right there. Another thing you want to make sure is that we overfly this waypoint. Otherwise, the aircraft might start turning to the runway way early. So what you will do, just click overfly that base thing. Insert. OK, so far, so good. We are going all the way to here. Now, what we could try to do is to delay the Charlie Fox. Makes no sense to have this Charlie Fox. But then I need to uh, set a new waypoint, which will be on the chart. We can see that at 1.1 nautical miles from the runway, we should be at an altitude of 460 feet. So that's the waypoint that you can see Rosario. So let's try to program that Rosario waypoint into our MCDU. So for that, we are going to use the indication of the airport, the ICAO, so Lima Papa Mike Alpha, runway 05, is that what we are looking at? And we are going to use the, sa the same process. So we have to put the uh, runway uh, track, which in that case is going to be, uh, what is it? Uh, let me think, 219. So here we want, so we want 219. And we would like to have, let's say, 1.1 nautical miles. Here we go. So now you can see the third waypoint where we should be at an altitude of roughly 460 feet. After that, I'm just going to delay it. Charlie Fox makes no sense anymore. And I'm just going to delay the discontinuity. Now, if we activate this, we can see what we have in the box. This is to help you. So you can see that we are going all the way to the uh, end of downwind here, where we turn base. And this is for reference. So now if we look at the reference for this waypoint, Papa Bravo Delta 03, which is in fact Rosario, we could insert here an altitude constraint. And we could put, for example, 460. Minimum 460, so I'll go 460. Not flight level 460. 460 feet descent. Right. Insert. Perfect. Now we have done everything we need. We are ready to try fly this approach. FSI panel has positioned the aircraft. We have done our MCDU. And we have already the airport in sight right there. So let's give it a shot. Of course, again, this is just to show you some way you can fly this approach. You can fly it completely visual. 
This is completely up to you. I'm just trying to show you how easily you can create something with FSI panel. All right, so we are going to take the control by holding the brake three seconds. If we go one, two, and three, I have control and I have to go to the first waypoint. So direct, five, six, five, insert. And we have nav, the aircraft is going. The next thing you want to know is, you want to do is, you see that from Mike Alpha 566 to the base turn, we have a minimum altitude of 940 feet. So what I will do here is I will put 1000 feet right there. And at some point we will start the descent. You can see here the top of descent. If I want to let the aircraft do a constant descent to the runway. However, we are going to start the descent a little bit earlier than that and see how she performs. From Mike Alpha 566 to the base turn, it's a minimum 940 feet. So it doesn't say you have to be at 940 feet. Same as Jello, you can see minimum 850 and same at Rosario, minimum 460. So right now we are flying S-Bug. We have the nice runway in front of us right there. And we have program or MCDU to help us fly that visual approach. So from Mike 55565, five, five, sorry, to 566, six, here this is uh, the track, the RNP track, 219. So we can see the track and we are going to 5666. Six, six, six. After that, we will start flying visual. So we are responsible for navigation to the base turn, which we are modeled right there, which is three miles from Mike Alpha 566. Then we will turn probably 15 degrees bank to join Papa Delta 03 along the coast and land on runway 05. All right, so let's see how we can do that. So the airport is here. If we look outside, beautiful. So we are going to turn right here along the coast and join a short final runway 05. Okay, so let's start the descent to 1000 feet. I go flaps two. And for now, I will keep the speed at around 150 knots. Here we go. Lights are set. And we are starting a shallow descent after Mike Alpha 566. Minimum 940, we are 1800, so no issues. And this is our base turn. So at this position, we are going to start the right turn. And we are not going to fly direct the 1.1 miles. So we are going to disconnect our automation and we are doing the nice turn as per the chart. So this Papa Bravo Delta 0303 will help us with the altitude reference to make sure we uh, end up on final at the correct altitude. Good, so we are coming 150 knots, perfect. And we still have about 1.8 miles before the base turn. So if we look outside, we can see that we are very close to the runway and we are just to beam the threshold. So let's go now, gear down, flaps three. And we are turning now. So autopilot comes off, 15 degrees bank, flight director off, and I will go with the birdie. Here we go, 950 feet, so Correcting that, I go manage speed. We can go flaps full. Arm the speed brake. And off we go. So now we just have to fly the airplane and try to find ourselves to this Papa Bravo Delta 003. We should be at this position at around 460 feet. So you see the turn is nice. We can see the runway right there. So we are going along the coast here. And I start the descent. We have as well the indication here that I'm slightly high, but this is based on the minimum 460. What I'm looking at is the uh, Papi 
and we want to stay over the sea and look for the puppy. Now we can see one red. Here I try not to overshoot the runway. And here we go, final zero 05. Four. Landing checklist, we have ECOM. ECOM, sorry, landing, no blue. Quite windy today. Here we go, touch down. Spoilers, reversers green, and diesel. And I'm just going to stop here for the exercise. All right, so we managed. At the end, it was a bit windy, a bit high, but I maintained the rate of descent at 1,000 or less, so we didn't get any sink rate. So this is what you are looking at. Do not go sink rates, otherwise you have to perform your go around, you become unstable. And we managed to land uh, on runway 05. So I show you here, you can easily uh, fly this, uh, this kind of approach using FSI panel. FSI panel can basically position your aircraft anywhere you like, can be based on a VOR, on any waypoint, or even coordinates. So anything is possible, and then the way you fly, this is completely up to you. So here, if you want to use my pilot waypoint, feel free to download it in the section down below and practice this approach as many times as you want. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay safe and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.